I'm here in my office. It's really noisy outside. Thursdays are like that here. It's trash day and I don't know, just industrial day, even though we live not in an industrial zone. But uh, anyway, I'll just get straight to the point about the dream that I had. This happened uh, in 2010 in uh, Lakeview, Oregon. Um, I, it was the middle of the night and I was having a dream that I was on a train and I was with some people that I knew and one of the guys uh, that I was friends with at the time, uh, his name is Jason Roy Gaines and he's very particular that you, you do use his middle name Roy in his full name. So he has to be Jason Roy Gaines, which is, I liked that about him. I just thought it was quirky and interesting. But uh, anyways, me and him, he, he really liked math. And in this dream, me and him were on this train and arguing about math. And he's like, you know, math is the best thing ever since sliced bread. And I'm like, man, math is just, you know, it's, it's kind of tough for me. And it's confusing and it's sometimes it's overwhelming the higher math. And we're having this, this back and forth banter and all of a sudden I hear this uh, trumpet sound but when I say trumpet sound it kind of doesn't do it justice because it, well first of all as soon as I heard the sound I was like not in the train anymore oh and by the way I forgot to mention that the train was heading east and we were in the west somewhere of the United States so uh, I don't know if that might have relevance for someone, but regardless, uh, I heard this trumpet sound, we, we all heard it, and I'm instantly up in the air, and as soon as I'm like pretty high altitude, I woke up, but what I need to explain is about the sound because the this dream is unlike any other dream I've ever had in that the sound that I heard was so penetrating so the only way I can describe it is uh, if if you could imagine being suspended just so you're like weight just imagine you're weightless but you're completely surrounded and enveloped tangibly like a cloud of golden light that's what this sound was like it went through me it supported me and it itself was pure love so in this one note it was like the the, the one note was more than one note it's like it was all harmonics all in one note and i i'm a musician so and you might see some musical stuff around here this is my little recording studio uh, the Devils is my office, but um, this is like beyond sound. It's, it's, it's really difficult to put into words, but I'm trying, so please bear with me. <laughs> so this sound was like a golden light that completely suspended me and supported me so that I felt that uh, that there there could never be a separation again from that love, that light in that sound and it was a trumpet note though it was definitely like i don't know if, if you've ever imagined what the the sound of the last trumpet will be like it's like that but it's just i guess i was given more senses or something to understand like the full vibration of the note it's just like more to it than than what we normally hear a trumpet sound and it was so enveloping and so uh, supportive that when I woke up, I feel like God um, slowed my consciousness so that I wouldn't... It was too much of an abrupt halt to, the, to this complete um, supportiveness to then just come back into this reality that we're in right now. Okay, so it was so intense, the, the feeling of love and support, that if God would have let me just go f abruptly from that to then this reality, like in a second of, of when you wake up, 
Like, I don't, I think I would have gone into some kind of deep depression or, or it would have broken me somehow. But what happened is like, he slowly let my consciousness come back in. And as the, the note, as an echo kind of like dissipated, I heard the droning of the HVAC, okay? But it was like over time, this might have lasted a minute or so, maybe, maybe longer. But I also felt myself coming back into this reality, which is kind of like a hollowness. Uh, it's as if I was in a greater reality than what we're in now. And as I came back into that, I felt this dread and, and kind of like a despondency, like I don't even want to be here. This, oh, this existence is so hollow and empty and shallow and pathetic. And, you know, and that's not to, to criticize God's creation because believe me, uh, I've done years of work as a photographer outdoors. You know, it was my dream as a child to be a National Geographic photographer. Uh, I've done, I, I appreciate beauty and I can see it more than I think most people but uh, so I'm not criticizing God's creation or any of that. All I'm saying is that this is kind of, I think it's kind of like a broken reality or, or a, like a shadow of what is so much more real. Because in that moment, in that dream, in that note where I was suspended and I was in the atmosphere, I felt more communicated through that just one single note then the value of that is greater than anything you could offer me you could offer me any pleasure on earth and it's not even going to compare to that one single note that i that i experienced for, for a split second okay so i didn't have this great big rapture dream where all this stuff happened and it was lengthy and i can tell you all these details about it i didn't i just had a really short rapture dream it was quick but there was so much packed into that one singular note of that trumpet that it gave me an experience um, that, of course, I'll never forget. This is, it happened in 2010. It's been seven years, and I still remember it just like it happened yesterday. And I forget stuff. I mean, you can ask people that, I, that know me. <laughs> I forget a lot of stuff. I've had some... Uh, my head's been hit and different things, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's my one rapture dream I've had. And, uh, it, it transformed me in the sense that it confirmed to my heart and my mind and my soul and spirit that this world is, uh, it's a passing thing. It's not something that we can look to as far as eternity like this is a broken reality this is a fallen world and the best life that you can have here really pales in comparison to the smallest thing that god will give us in the future and that's that's only saying one little thing i mean what he's what he has for us it, i think it's true it, it says in god's word that uh no eye has seen, no ear has heard the things which the Lord has prepared for those who love Him and, and are devoted to Him. So, uh, yeah, I, find, I hope someone finds that encouraging. And uh, have a blessed day. Shalom.